All right, everyone, I've recuperated. I'm mentally prepared for this massive haul, so let's get right back into it. Welcome back. If this is your first time at my channel. I'm Charles and I run about 28% of a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique who does the rest. Um, now we were going through a pretty sizable dollar day haul. Um, it's so big I don't even know if I'm gonna get it. It's probably gonna be another video after this one. I think this is the biggest dollar day haul we've ever done. Um, it was a trip to two different Goodwills and another local thrift store. Um, so it's a lot of dollar days. All right, let's, um, oh, that's just something from something else I'm shooting. Um, that'll be up in a couple days. All right, um, let's grab this bag. Now, I think this bag is not stuff from our, from the, uh, Goodwill. I think this is from the local thrift store. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because I recognize that tag. So, um, this local thrift store that we went to does three different colors. One is 25, one is 50, and one is 75% off. And because I didn't actually go in, it was just my wife, I have no idea which color is which. So, this could be something that was $5, or it could be something that was buck 25. Either way, it is an Athleta L. Size L. Um, Alright, let's see if that will... Oh, there we go. Um, and it, it's, uh, it's kind of a vest, but it doesn't have any buttons in the front, and it's Athleta. I thought that was a workout brand, but I really don't know. I guess not. Um, so it's just a large gray shawl vest? I don't know. I don't know what to call that. Um, I'm sure, uh, sure my wife will come up with a good description to put when we list it. Alright. Um, up next in this bag, and this is actually... Okay, so this one is another one that of unknown price. It is a Chasseur? Uh, the letters are all scrambled up. I'm not familiar with this brand. It is an extra small made in China and it's another gray shawl. Um, this one does have sleeves though so I'm pretty sure that makes it a shawl. I'm not really sure about the no sleeve but you can leave a comment with all the corrections, all the clarifications, and then I can read those comments and, I don't know, probably forget, continue to bumble through these videos, just like I always do. Okay, moving on to the next bag. We have, we are back to the Goodwill. We have another wild Fable. Um, I found a couple of these in the last part of the haul. Um, and this is new with tags, which something I found out, our local Goodwill puts a uh, red tag if it's, um, if it's straight from retail. So this means that the local retail stores, they'll, uh, they'll take and they'll either, I don't know if they donate some of their ex excess or if they sell it off to Goodwill, but whatever the case may be, this is completely brand new. All right. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, we have a knot rose. Um, this is a small. Um, it's another new of tags, another um, retail. And I know that this Goodwill did have blue as the color that as the dollar day color so this was only a buck um, and it's a blue it's kind of a denim -y fabric although it feels 
Hmm. It's just a thin denim shirt. Uh, there are no buttons. Uh, it doesn't appear that it's supposed to have buttons, so I guess you just get that deep V. It's got some uh, patterns on the um, stitching. And kind of a little bit of a puffy sleeve. Uh, so, a lot going on. I, I think. I think I've heard of that Not Rose brand before. I think it's a good brand, but um, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, up next we have a Skies Are Blue. Um, this came. This came from Goodwill, and this has a green tag, so it was full price. Um, and this came from the other Goodwill, in which case I don't know what the colors were on that one either. Uh, I spend. I didn't go into that one either. Um, anyway, this is a Skies Are Blue, large. It is a gray, um, gray shirt with buttons in the back. Um, one, two, three, four, five buttons in the back um, in case anyone was interested. And it also has the illusion of a second shirt at the bottom, but it's all just one shirt. No. That's actually a pretty nice piece. Um, so I think that'll do I think that'll do good, but that's if that's just if my taste or any indication. Alright. And up next we have a another we have another denim uh, shirt. This one is button button up. Or is it, um, yeah, it's buttoned up because it's buttoned up if it doesn't have the buttons on the collar, it's buttoned down if it has the buttons on the collar. Um, as you'll see, the pink tag means that this was $2, and this is a basic denim wax jean. It is a size M, and because the buttons are on the left side, that means it is a woman's shirt. Um, and, ah. It does have a pocket in the front uh, with a button for extra security, so you could keep um, uh, something. It's probably too small for a wallet, uh, especially if you're like me and you have the George Costanza style wallet. Uh, but I'm sure you could keep uh, maybe your lunch money in there if you happen to be a um, fifth grade student. Uh, if you happen to be a um, woman who's going to wear a piece of clothing made for a woman then um i don't know maybe you still have lunch money uh, but anyway uh that um that shirt gave me an opportunity to talk about my the extent of my uh clothing knowledge all right um so Moving right along, I think we're going to make this video a little bit longer um, and try to get through one more bag. Okay, so this is a Orvis. Um, it is the size, I guess the size is 10, but that might just be a... Hmm, let's see if it says down here. It does not say down here. But this is a dotted shirt. The dots appear to be in a semi-random pattern. Um, a little uneven. Um, and it's a nice blue. I, it does not, um, it doesn't have the buttons on the uh, sleeve, so you would just wear those sleeves all the way. There's no rolling them up. So this is, this shirt is all business. Okay, and up next we have ah something that's not a denim style shirt. These are Jones New York jeans, button. Uh, what are they? Oh, Sutton straight. Um, I don't know what Sutton means. Um, 
but they are size 16 women's um, 98% cotton and 2% spandex made in China uh, cold water wash so uh, but they are blue, blue tag so again a dollar and they are a pair of just a pair of black jeans um, now one of the things about black jeans that always uh, makes me a little nervous when I pick them up is they tend to show a lot of they tend to show a lot of fuzz but that's really not a big deal if you have a lint roller which you can get at well, pretty much anywhere and uh, or if you just have fingers and you can pick some of the fuzz off but uh, that fuzz really does show up in the black so I'll make sure to I'll make sure to roll it off when I before I shoot it so it doesn't have so it doesn't look like it's a flawed piece uh, because that I don't see anything on there um, at just my brief glance um, now we are back to a oh well I guess this is a dress not a shirt uh, but this is a del delita uh, it is a size small um, made in Vietnam with uh, uh, I guess that's just made in Vietnam and a is that French? Maybe that's French. Um, anyway, we have a, it is a green dress, although looking at my monitor, it looks like it, it appears to be gray, but it has actually does have a slight green tint to it. So that's just not showing up on the camera. Um, what is showing up on the camera is the uh, pattern. Um, looks like little diamonds within diamonds. Um, kind of actually looks like a, a little bit of a wallpaper pattern and like some Something you'd see in a older, more classical home, colonial. And then you have. Them. When was wallpaper invented? Um, that can be the question of the day. I'm pretty sure wallpaper came about in the. Feels like the early 1900s, but I could be wrong. I know about as much about wallpaper as I do about fashion. <laughs> okay, um, so that is, yeah, it looks like the rest of the haul is entirely shoes, so I will do that in the next video, um, but this this portion of the haul, um, I I really like it. I'm I'm happy I'm happy to see those red tag those red stickers on the blue tags. That means we got something that's new with tags, never been worn, so there's no flaws, or shouldn't be any flaws. Um, really, really easy just to get up and list and sell. Um, the There's some brands that I think are good brands, but um, again, I'm not really a brand expert, but I'm pretty sure that I've heard of a few of them just from, just in passing and their quality so I believe we should do all right now I didn't see a lot of winter wear um, we are in winter um, I'm filming this in December so that's a little disappointing although today we did just sell a bikini top um, so you can it's it's always it's always some it's always it's always warm somewhere I mean I guess that bikini top could have been going to someone in California um, they didn't buy a bikini bottom with it, so bikini tops and Daisy Dukes is a that's a California staple. Um, anyway, if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, links and all the stuff to our closet will be down in the description. Um, until next time, I'm Charles. And I'll see you. Hey, thanks for sticking around after the credits. Um, you can click on one of these boxes to watch more videos. And if you're watching this in a couple weeks later, you'll probably click up there and you'll get to see what I was doing with that uh, with that um, polka dotted tissue paper. All right, see you soon.